hi guys welcome back to my video welcome back to my channel if you don't know me I'm Helen from crafty so-and-so I am a fabric hoarder pattern hoarder and all-round crafter so sewing enthusiast and here on this channel I like to create videos to help you create things that you love and enjoy and bring you know your hobby to life and just help you get started with those things that you might get stuck on or give you new ideas for things you could do. So before we get started I'd like to invite you to like this video, share it with your certain friends or even subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Uh, here I will be doing more beginner sewing tips, how to use things like your sewing machine, quilting rulers, things like that. I'm going to be doing household products, um, how to make them, sew alongs and pattern reviews. So in this video I'm going to be talking to you about seven amazing ideas for you to store your sewing patterns. So I will honestly say I don't have that many sewing patterns, I don't think. I don't know what a large amount is consisted of these days. But to me I think I've got quite a, you know, a small to medium kind of horde of sewing patterns. I have a variety of traditional patterns that come in, you know, that you buy from a shop, that come in the little envelope. Um, I've got plenty of those and then I also have PDF ones that I've printed out myself and got in a folder. Uh, if, you know, if you've just got one kind or both kinds, you can work this out depending on what is best for you and your space. So now we've got all that out of the way, let's get started. On the first on our list of storage ideas is in boxes. So I use really useful boxes because I find them easy to find and stack and they are really durable and really good for storing things like this and fabric. So I'm currently using a 9 litre really useful box. This has been perfect because it fits two like stacks of um, the smaller patterns like the A5 size patterns. Um, I can fit two lots of those like stacked next to each other in. I think I've probably got around 20 to 30 possibly in there right now. Um, and so I found this really useful because they're ones that I don't often use. So I've been able to stack them in there. The box is great because it's got a nice secure lid so there's no chance of that coming off and falling off and something spilling in there. You know there's very lim limited dust and dirt that gets into the sewing pattern so this is a great way to like preserve my sewing patterns for long term use. I also use these because they fit perfectly in a Kallax cube. Um, I can fit two of them on top of each other within the cube and a little space at the side for maybe a book or a binder if I want. Um, and so I find that really helpful, I find it really easy so I can stack them and then it means I can also organise them into um, type or gender or anything like that that I need to to keep them nice and organised. Of course you can use any kind of box that you have. I suggest using a plastic box because they've got more durability, they're going to last longer and they're going to protect your sewing patterns from more uh, such as you know accidental spills in the sewing room, dust and dirt and overall you know moving and moving around in your sewing room they're going to be better protected. So number two on our list is using a binder, a folder and some plastic sleeves. Uh, I love using this for my PDF printed out patterns because they a lot of them come out I don't necessarily tape them and create them straight away. Sometimes I print them out, print out the um, instructions, print out the pieces and just let them sit in a sleeve until I'm ready to use the pattern. Uh, I've done this quite a lot so I use the plastic sleeves to keep everything together, keep it all organised. I even use like um, the little tabs to divide up, you know, so I can be like trousers in one area, skirts in another and so on. Um, that's a great way of having your patterns divided like that. I think it's great if you have already cut the pattern and you're looking for a better way to store them. You don't want to have to try and stuff them back in the little packet. You could use the packet on the as the front and then use the um, plastic sleeve to hold the pattern pieces just so you don't have to scrumple them up as small. Especially those older ones that are a bit more like tissue paper. They um, tend to damage more so that's why I like to use a bigger area to store them so they don't get as damaged and they're better protected. I also like using binders because it can organise them, 
you know, they I can expand over time. I can just add another binder, and you know, you can it can cre keep going with you. I also like that you can use these on bookshelves, in drawers, in calaxes. I, I use calaxes everywhere in my house, so that's kind of what I use. But they're very versatile in their space that you could be working with. You know, you might have very little space at home, you might be using a dining room table. All these things, a binder is really good because it's really easy to move around, it doesn't have to be too heavy and it's really protective of your sewing patterns. Number three on the list is brown paper envelopes. So you can either get the normal envelopes that are a little bit more flimsy or you can get cardboard backed envelopes. Either one are great. The cardboard backed ones are better because they're, they've got more rigidity which gives them more stability with the sewing pattern and you've got less chance of them bending and folding but I'm currently using the just the flimsy brown paper ones and they've worked out great for, for so far I really like that I put like a cover image on the front and then I put everything inside I also um, like to think um, when I get a bit more organised I'm going to hole punch them and store them in a binder as well I'm either going to go from them to the um, plastic um, envelopes within a binder, I'm not quite sure. The bonus of using the paper ones is that I can fold the tab down and hold it in place with a two paper clips. That way nothing slides out like they would in the in their plastic sleeving. I also like using the brown paper envelopes because I often find bulk lots of sewing patterns that like things like car boots and charity shops. I like to pick them up sort through the ones that I might like to keep and then sell on the rest or give them away to charity or you know in sewing groups and a lot of them will just come with out a um, real like kind of they, a lot of them will come with a proper sleeving or a cover or any kind of envelope so I like to kind of tidy them up a little give them a nice envelope to go in give them a cover image if possible and go from there so that at least they look a little bit more presentable and they're well kept. Number four on our list is file organisers so these are very popular in schools and offices and spaces like that. Um, these are those wire kind of rack type things, I don't know what you'd call them but I call it a file organiser. Um, these are great if you like having things sat on your desk ready to grab, ready to you know you like your favourite sewing patterns that you use all the time these is per this is perfect for that I also like using these for patterns and projects that I'm currently working on because I can store them in there it can sit in my bookcase or it can sit on my desk ready to be used and it just helps keep everything really tidy this is great if you don't have a large space or a dedicated sewing room that you can kind of have these things that store away onto a bookshelf or into like a space that you can have that's just yours and that's a great way of organising them. So with the file organisers you can use anything from the patterns in the A5 as they are or even A4 in plastic sheets or the brown envelopes. I use a combination depending what I'm what I'm working on is my main um, is why I mainly use a file organiser but you can use it for however you want it to work. You can use a number of them in a bookcase to kind of store and organise. So you might have one for dresses and jumpsuits, another for skirts and trousers, another for tops and shirts, and kind of break it up that way, and that's a really good way of using them. Number five on the list is filing cabinets. This is definitely for those who have a larger quantity of sewing patterns, or more of a dedicated sewing space. I currently have half a room that's set up to mine. It, it's, it's kind of like an, an all-in-one room, but it's I keep trying to keep my stuff to one side just so it's not overtaking the space, though it's easily done. Um, but if you have a lot of sewing patterns, if this is your job or you make your own or anything like that where you have a large quantity of sewing patterns, a filing cabinet can be a great way of storing them. It, may, it means your sewing patterns have got better protection because they are stored away in a you know metal or even plastic kind of container. The drawers are easy to pull out, grab what you need and go. Um, you can get the dividers to sit in the filing cabinet so then you know you can keep everything really organised. 
and you can put these under your sewing desk so you can literally tuck it away under the desk pull the drawer out get the pattern you want and go and it's a great way because you can have one drawer two drawers however many that you need and you can expand this over time so i think it's really great for people who have a lot of sewing patterns want to use a lot of sewing patterns or even you can even use it for fabric so even if you're only using one drawer for sewing patterns you can use another one for fabrics i'll leave some links to like pinterest where you can see how people have done that below um it's a really interesting way of doing it so number six on our list is using baskets um baskets can be great because they are really easy to get hold of and move around the downside to baskets is they've got no cover so this is I would only say this is for ones patterns that you like to use a lot or you are currently using on a project just because you don't want a lot of like dust and dirt getting in I think you know if you're looking to preserve your patterns for a long time uh, you want to try and keep them kind of kind, kind of like stashed away using baskets means that your fa your patterns are kind of open to the elements you know dust and dirt can get into them um, they've got more chance of being spilled on by a cup of tea trust me I know I've done it um, and other things like that they've got more chance of getting damaged things something dropping on them spilling everything like that you just never know what's going to happen so I would only say to do this if you're stacking them on a bookshelf in some kind of storage um, cabinet or um, if you are currently working on the project on your desk and finally, number seven on our list is using bookshelves. I love using bookshelves and any kind of um, up storage. You, know, you make it really making the use of vertical space within a room. We've done this by um, stacking two calaxes in our back office, and it works out great because we've got more space in the actual room for everything else that we need to fit in there and so if you have just a small space in your house or you don't have a dedicated sewing space using something like a bookshelf or like a floating shelf or anything that's kind of in your house that's not really being utilized take up that space and use it for your sewing patterns you can store them in a box or you can store them in a basket store them in with the file organizers whatever works for you or you can just stack them you know loose as they are within the bookshelf they'll have still have some kind of coverage because they're up high they might just be up to a little bit of dusting but if you keep on top of that then they should be fine using shelves and bookshelves within a sewing room as well is also great because you can just kind of pick out the one that you want from this from the slot and get going and you don't have to spend hours rummaging in boxes and bags and things just to try and find what you need so that's everything for my seven amazing sewing pattern storage ideas i hope you found this useful and i hope this has given you some good ideas on how you can store your sewing patterns so they're all well protected for future use if you've enjoyed this video make sure you like it and make sure you check out my other videos that i've got coming up i'm doing plenty more on my sew alongs along with my recent which is a fabric haul from fabric godmother where is where i got this fabric from this is the double cotton gauze and i've just released a video on how to make this top it's a sew along so make sure you go check that out and i'll see you in the next video bye